Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Today we are going to be doing a living room makeover here at my home and I'm really excited to change the way the whole room looks. We're going for more of a traditional, casual, modern look for the living space. Keep it more neutral so we can decorate for different seasons with that. If you've been with me for a while, then you know that the living room has sort of changed a little bit by me reworking the space. I've tried a few things. There's been a couple fails in there. And so this time around, I wanted to create a design board since I was ordering furniture to make sure that all of the pieces would look really good together and I could visually see it. I'm a very visual person and it helps me be able to be like, yes, that's what I want. So I put pictures on my floor, my fireplace in there, and then I tried different rugs, sofas, chairs, coffee tables, and combined different colors and pieces together until I found the look that I wanted and I'm really excited to bring that design board to life and share that with you today. So hopefully you'll get some ideas on ways that you can decorate your home and living room and make it feel casual, warm, and welcoming for your family. I know everybody's style is different, so you do what is best for you. I picked items that I thought would suit my family really well. And all the pieces that we're actually gonna clear out of the room now, I'm gonna repurpose them in different parts of the house, um, probably today. So I'll probably get two for one in today's video. So living room makeover, Slash something else so we'll see how that ends up going but I'm really excited so I hope you enjoyed today's video if you do give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and as always everything will be linked in the description box below tap here on that little arrow and it'll take you to all the links in my like to know it my blog everything like that is in the description box so you can find something that you like for your home and you can get it so with that let's go ahead and start clearing out the living space and making it look beautiful nothing to Hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be. I'm so excited to open up these boxes and share with you all the beautiful items that I got from Castlery. I'm really excited and grateful to be partnering with them for today's video and for them allowing me to pick out my personal favorites and how I wanted my home to look. It only took a few weeks for them to come in, which was nice and Bonus is that you can actually order samples of the material for the furniture so you can see it in person and see what's going to best look in your home in the style that you're going for. So there's no guessing game of is it going to look good or is it not? You will know because you can actually order the samples and feel it and actually see what the color is going to look like. So I'm really excited to open these up. Uh, I will have all their information in the description box below for you. That way if you love the items that you see today, you can order them for your home as well and they have a lot more to choose from in different styles so there's something for everybody so i will leave all that information in the description box below just tap the little arrow there and i'll tell you a little bit more about them as i unbox everything but i'm really excited so let's open these up are you surprised at all that it's dark you should be because i hinted at you that i was going to be ordering some dark chairs yes so the accent chair that I ended up picking is the Adams chair and I really liked it because it looked deep and cushy and something that you could snuggle up in, which I absolutely wanted to do in it. But I like the fact that it comes with four different color options and there's three different color options for the feet, for the legs, um, which is really nice. And these are really heavy duty and all I gotta do is screw them on right here and then we'll 
If you're not familiar with Castlery, I'm excited to introduce you to them because they are an online furniture store offering a beautiful wide variety of furniture pieces for your entire home. Castlery takes pride in their furniture. You can tell by the quality and the craftsmanship of every furniture piece. Even with their packaging, they take great quality and care. I like the fact that you can shop a specific collection or you can mix and match and you can also shop just in stock items versus having to wait for any. If you've been with me, you know I've tried a quite a bit of chairs out and I haven't even shared half of them with you that are not comfortable. This is comfortable and gorgeous. Oh my goodness. All right, gotta put the head of the other ones. You know what? I can use this cardboard in my garden beds to keep the weeds out. So it's doing double duty. Woohoo! To do is attach the feet and it comes with felt on the bottom so your floors won't be scratched and you don't have to add it later on which is super nice and convenient. I gotta clear out the boxes before I can set anything up but I am really excited and it's comfortable oh, and it's very pretty. The sofa I ended up choosing is this beautiful Hamilton Chase sectional sofa. You can get it in left facing or right facing and also just sofa form if that's what you're looking for. I got in the brilliant white color and I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful and the Chase just hooks right up to it. You just push the two together and it locks it in place. So as I mentioned earlier, all the cushions have covers that have zippers, which means you can wash them. And even the bottom cushions, did you hear that? And they have Velcro. So you can take them off and they're also not gonna move when the little people play on them, which is just great. It makes it easy for cleaning as well. a little different in here. I'm doing a round coffee table. I've never done a round one, so I'm excited to see how this will look. really well with everything else and this um, covering on the bench is just a little bit creamier and a little bit darker than the sofa. See how I put these um, stems in here and they just droop to the side because this vase is kind of a wide mouth vase. Something you can do for that, especially if you're using real florals, is you can take a smaller base with a smaller opening on the top, set that inside, and then put your, then put your stems in, and it holds it in a little bit better. I think I'm gonna take the other ones that I have of these that are up here, and use those, because I'm liking the color green better um, for the table and everything I feel like it kind of grounds the space. Um, I like the way a white base looks on there too, but got a lot more white going on in here now. So take this and then you're just gonna stuff it inside that base. You're gonna create different heights with the florals. I am finally adding the second picture light, but I decided to change the look of them. The other ones were a little bright, and since I couldn't find the other one, I just went ahead and ordered two new ones. And I really like the coloring. The size is a bit 
better for me. It's a little bit larger and it comes in a couple different sizes. And this one is actually hardwired, but I'm not hardwiring it to the wall. I just put a little question mark, a hanger on there and I'm hooking it on and they work just fine. Okay, I like this table, but it's a little small for the space. So I'm gonna swap this out and try a different side table that I found and see if that works. It's a little bit lighter. Um, it's still round. I definitely want a round table for here, but I think something a little bit taller, possibly even a bit wider would be really nice, but I have to find something um, that I like first. So this might change, but I think this table is a little bit bigger and fits the space a little bit better. So now it's time to decorate this sofa and make it look even more beautiful. So I have this beautiful textured blanket. It has likes contrast to the creamy white sofa. And I think this will look really good being right here at the end. And plus adds a little bit of coziness too. Don't have a ton of dark pillows, but I do have these ones that I actually made. So I'm thinking I'll add these in here on each corner. This fabric, I think I got it at like Joann's or something, um, but it's just a simple pillow cover and I think that will look good. But I have a couple other ones I'm gonna add and see how those look. Now I did find this um, lumbar pillow. It comes with an insert, which is really nice, but I love the vintage look to it. It's got beautiful texture and it's really nicely made. And I like that it's more cream and black like the blanket is versus a gray and black. Um, I think it's gonna look better with the sofa. So I will probably change out those ones at a later point when I find something a little bit more creamier. But I think this will look really nice here. Now, I've already told you how absolutely comfortable this chair is, but I think I actually might remove these side pillows for now, just because normally when we sit down, if we watch TV or something, one of the kids will always usually sit with me, so it's great um, for snuggling up together. You can see how much space is next to me. So I think I might just add this small little lumbar pillow here. It's just a nice linen and it's kind of creamy and I feel like it goes really well. Um, I like to find maybe something a little bit more vintagey to be here, but you know, that type of stuff takes time. So I'm on the hunt and I promise you I'll share it when I find it. I really like the way the coffee table looks, but I think I'm gonna add just a little, one more element to the greenery here. And that is these hydrangea stems. Um, these are really long and they're really pretty. And so I think just adding these in um, will just add a little bit more and liven it up a little bit. And then I can always take them out come fall and stuff um, to change up the look of the space and everything. So I think this will look really good. I'm really excited to decorate this space for fall even though I know I'm decorating for summer right now, I'm pretty excited to change it up for each season. I think it's gonna be just absolutely beautiful. One reason why I like faux stems because they're wired so you can move them around to get the look that you're going for. I'm gonna get up and see how it looks from far away. I am loving the way the living room is looking. I did have a sofa or console table that was here a few weeks ago, but I moved it recently to the entryway and I love it there, so I'm probably not gonna move it. But I think I need to add something here so that my little ones don't use this as a bench. It's very comfortable, I like it, but I don't want them sitting on the back of the couch. So um, I need something else I'm gonna need to find for the space. I don't have that today, but you know, when I find it, I will let you know and we will add it, but I think it's looking really good. Let me show you how it looks all together from different angles. And then we're gonna take the old furniture and we are going to work on a completely different room in the house and decorate that room, put it all together. Seeing my vision come to life is way better than in person than it could be on the design board. I am so happy with the way everything looks together, mixing the old and new, 
It could not have flowed better in my eyes. I am so happy with it. You'll have to let me know what your favorite part about it is. I have styled these shelves in the past, so I didn't go into a great explanation on what I have here, but everything that you see will be linked in the description box below in case you'd like to get it for your home as well. This view just takes my breath away. I absolutely love the way the Hobby Lobby hydrangeas look and the vase I got from there as well. Mixing in a few things from home goods and then this antler shed that my son found on our property. I really like using different materials in a space because it adds a lot of different texture with the different fabrics. I think it makes it look unique and more organic and a something that not everybody has by piecing different pieces together because you're not matching the furniture. Like the velvet on the chair, I think looks incredible with a different texture on the sofa. And then mixing the round coffee table with that wood design mixed in with the metal detail on the bottom of the sofa, it really mixes different styles and I think it looks so beautiful. And I hope you have enjoyed seeing the process of this living room come together and gotten some ideas on ways that you can decorate your home and make it feel unique and custom to you and your family. And now it's time for me to start incorporating the old furniture pieces here in this room. It's a little bit smaller, but I am determined to make it feel cozy and a nice living space for us. Definitely a little bit squished in here, but um, two I think would be just fine, but I gotta figure out where to put the third one. So the boys asked me like, can we put it in our room? And I was like, oh no, because I know it's gonna happen. It's gonna be a, a bouncing jungle gym. <laughs> I'm thinking about adding an arch with the drywall here. I think that'd be really cool um, just to break up all the squareness I have in here, even though I like it, or doing um, wood beams on the side and over the top to kind of encase it. I think that'd be really cool too. <laughs> Lots of options, but uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be good because I wanna see how this area functions. It's never, we've never done anything with it. It was originally supposed to be the schoolroom, and they don't like doing it in here. They like doing it in the office. So this, um, just the whole plans changed for this and could turn it into a dining room later on. So. We will see, it could be, it's a multifunctional space, which is kind of fun for me, so. I think for the other elements that I have to work with in here, it might be better to leave it in a bit. Anytime I'm hanging things up on the walls, I like to use these check mark hangers to do it because um, the clips latch on and they can't fall off. So if you're in an earthquake zone or anything like that, these are great. They make them in different weights as well. So if you have something a lot heavier than 30 pounds, you can use that. But this is what I'm gonna use to hang up the mirrors on the wall. And you'll recognize these mirrors because these were the mirrors. <sighs> Um, living room before I added the um, shelves in there. So I think they'll look really good up on this wall and it will open up the space a little bit more. So I'm gonna take the measurement on the back here and then transfer that to the wall. 
Anytime you're hanging mirrors or art on the wall, you want to think about where your eyes hit the wall and that should be the focal point. But um, when you're working with furniture as well, you don't want to have it way up here um, because then you have this huge gap here. So you want to make sure you keep it somewhat close to that without it feeling like it's too low as well. So I'm just going to set these on the back here so I can see them and then I can bring them closer together or farther apart. I was actually thinking of making it sort of like an entertainment area. Um, so if I did either this or like a console here, and then I could do um, like IKEA PAX units on each side. I have the doors. I don't have the unit itself, but I could build that. And then you would be for all the game storage and stuff. I don't know. That'd be probably pretty good. So I was gonna add these side chairs here to our bedroom for a little reading nook, but I think they fit in this space really well. So I think I might leave them in here and it makes it a little bit cozier if we wanna play a game in here or just you know, when we have people over and stuff, it's a nice conversation room and stuff. I don't need two olive trees in here though. So that one will have to go. I chose the taller one. This one is, what is that one? seven feet, eight feet, really love it. I'll leave my options down below for you if you need some, but this desk, um, I was gonna make over and just haven't done it yet because the stuff I wanna use for it is out of stock now because I drug my heels and waited too long. So this room is a lot smaller than the living room. So the old eight by 10 rug I had in the living room, it's a gray and white one. It does not fit in here at all. It's way too big. This couch is obviously really big for this space, but it's fine, you know, it's all good. Doesn't bother me one bit. I have an extra space um, where the kids can play and, you know, have a good time in. So I really hope you enjoyed the living room makeover as much as I do. I am so happy with it and I love the way the castaway pieces look in the space, but most of all, they are extremely comfortable and I hope that you all will be able to grab some of their beautiful furniture and add it to your home as well. Everything you've seen in today's video will be linked in the description box below. Just half a little arrow there. You can also find previous videos there as well and my like to know what page and everything. So hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you again for spending part with me. Let me know your favorite elements of each space and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends, of course, so they can get some decorating ideas for their living room as well. So with that, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.